wrong way. I kind of want like an action. You went the wrong way. Oh, like one of the dogs. The dog's cute. Yeah. I have the I have the husky, but it's dead. <laughs> it's like dried up. Are we <laughs> regrouping? What's the? Oh, I'm on with you. Yeah, I'm heading back. The cloud doors. Warning. You've disavowed an official this action for the Mark West Road. Put down the shock turret, I can't fucking see. Are you inside of the uh Yeah he is. Zeke's down here. Oh my god, I have so many fucking ads in here right now. What up guys, Alfredo here with yet another Division video. This one you guys have been asking me to do for the longest time. An update to my PvP build guide video. Here we are guys. As of right now, the guide, the DPS, the health, it looks like this. This is April 18th. This is the current date as of the recording remember i stream every day on twitch so we are constantly making tweaks and huge disclaimer guys huge disclaimer this is nowhere near my final form we've got a lot more tweaking to do i'm guessing the final form like really hardcore minimize maximize stats everywhere is going to be around 300k dps 100k health i believe we could probably hit that it's going to take a lot of effort and a lot of time but guys, let's go ahead and break down my current build. The last time we looked at our build, we were at like 215K DPS, around like 80K health. So we've taken a huge shot up in terms of just damage output. And I'll go over everything in detail as usual. So guys, let's get started. Now, primary DPS is sitting at 277,000. Uh, we have our health at 82,000 skill power at 11k now What is all that you know that you guys know me? I don't like having fluff anywhere in my build as much as possible So that's why I took a little bit longer to uh, get this guide out to you guys because I want to make sure We uh, we at least look good. You know what I'm saying so first things first let's start off with the weapon um, We've crafted a pretty solid uh, vector and we've crafted a just a shit ton of augs and we've landed on this bad boy. I might end up doing a video where I talk about the aug compared to the vector because I do like the aug better. There's a number of reasons why. I explain this on my Twitch channel every night, but we might end up having a video for that because a lot of you guys have been asking me. So, aug. So we crafted it. This is probably like within 20 crafts. We got 21.5% crit hit chance. A little bit on the lower end. I would have liked to have seen 25%. But can't complain. We do have the 13.1k damage on this aug roll. Very happy about that. Very, very happy about that. As you can see right there, baby. Brutal. Now, in my opinion, the for me personally, the top three talents that I go for on um, an SMG, especially with the way the current meta is and... and and you know the, the sentry meta and whatnot and shock turrets and everything like that i like brutal deadly and self-preserved especially i like self-preserved a lot and as you can see oops let me go ahead and back up as you can see we have brutal and self-preserved so i was freaking out when i got this aug roll took me a long time to get it we got the brutal we got the self-preserved i like self-preserved because they did fix the rehabilitated mass i know a lot of you guys um ended up getting that mass because of my last guide video it's no longer really worth having. So self-preserve is a nice little thing that I like um, in terms of talents on an SMG. It works really well with the build that we have. This is, remember, a crit like chance, crit chance, crit damage, true damage build. Like we're going for like real DPS output here. And self-preserve reads as critical hits with this weapon. Heal the user for 3% of damage dealt. Very, very nice. You, were, you know, this build's all about doing crit hit crit uh, damage so 
Salt Preserve works perfectly. It's just hand in hand with the type of boat that we have. So we got Brutal, we got Self Preserve, and the last roll on this one is Determined. Not very happy about Determined, but you know what? It's there, it's active, I will take it. I'm um, not going to complain about that. It took me about 20 rolls to get this bad boy, so I'm very, very happy. I am also sitting on a another AUG that has more crit chance, a little bit less damage. We've got Vicious, Sustained, and Deadly. Um, going between these, though, I do like the Brutal and Self-Preserved. I am running a Century um, build, so Brutal kind of works hand-in-hand -hand with that build as well. We'll go over that in a second. And in terms of... Uh, the attachments I have on my gun, we've got magazine size with rate of fire. I like having rate of fire on the AUG because the AUG's rate of fire shoots a little bit slower. On MP5, I do like having the crit damage instead because the AUG has a higher rate of fire. Um, on my optics, I do have the headshot damage crit hit chance. On the large muzzle, we have accuracy crit hit damage. I did pick up in DZ5, as of, as, as of right now, as of the recording of this video, DZ5 has a level 32 muzzle which rolls i've seen i've seen up to 44 percent crit hit damage so that's what we're going to be working on next is rolling a better muzzle so we've got the accuracy and the crit hit damage on that and of course the angle grip is stability and accuracy so very very happy with this aug i was focusing on rolling at least a very good AUG or a very decent AUG before I started moving on to doing other things. So our build is going to be changing a lot during the next week because we're going to start rolling armor mods and we're going to start rolling for other things as well like that that muzzle. So very, very happy with this AUG. Second is uh, the first wave M1A. You guys know that I've never, like if you guys watch my streams, I've never had a, an M1 drop for me. So I was very happy when uh, DZ3 sold the AUG and the first wave M1. No, it's no longer there. Sorry, guys. As of right now in this recording, it is a pistol and a vector. So I do have a first wave M1 uh, plus 153% headshot damage, 47k, uh, 0.3k damage. We've got steady. So... Not too bad, ferocious and accurate. Honestly, eventually I will start rolling for a first wave M1. I think I'm, the talents I'm looking for are gonna be balanced for sure, and I'm gonna say brutal. And then from there, I'm kind of shopping around for a third talent. So that is the AUG, that is the M1. And yeah, yeah I did. I went to the DZ3, I picked up that pistol blueprint and I crafted a 204 pistol, just to bump up my gear score a little bit. So guys, real quick, since we're on the topic of gear score, the damn DPS is jumping around everywhere. Anyways, since we're on the topic of gear score, let me just go ahead and talk to you guys about that real quick. Guys, it's the same, gear score is a new DPS, baby. Everyone's sitting out here like, oh my god, I got 220 gear score, but you know what? It's got shit roll, so it doesn't even matter. They're not doing any real damage, so don't fall into that, man. There you go. There's our DPS. Don't fall into that. Just because, just because, um... Oh, you know, an armor or a weapon or just actually armor, whatever it is, has a higher gear score just because you can be like 2 215, 210 gear score does not mean that you're going to be a, a, a better player. I mean, you have better stats. Whenever you change something in your build, like check and see like what you're losing, what you're gaining. And just, just be kind of aware of all that kind of stuff. So anyways, moving on, we do, um, as you can see here, just as a, Quick overview, we have four sentry pieces, okay? Um, and there's this is very strategic, the way this, these pieces are placed, okay? So um, there's very good talent still on the chest piece and the gloves. The chest piece, let's start off with it, is Reckless, man. Reckless is by far still the single most, like, sing I would say the single most overpowered talent you can have on a piece of armor. It's still, they, the devs did say that, hey, we're going to look into it. So eventually, this will be nerfed. But Reckless right now, increased damage by 13% and increased incoming damage by 10%. You do get the increased damage. You don't get the increased incoming damage. You actually get 10% uh, damage resistance. So Reckless, man, still important to have, but that will eventually be nerfed. So... Um, when that happens, I am going to take these four century and I'm going to, um, keep that and then slot in two tacticians and two tacticians is pretty much is going to allow me to get that 4,000 plus skill power. That's 
the future build and then from there we're going to be able to uh pulse better heal ourselves better etc but that's that's getting into the future now um in terms of gloves i got two sets of gloves this one's going to give me a little bit more even higher dps we can reach up to 296 as you can see but our health is a little bit too low i don't like that too much i might try to to roll some things around we will see um sorry let me go back to this chest piece and show you guys the chest piece so we got reckless plus armor, plus ammo capacity, pulse duration, and two mod slots. Guys, there, my gear is nowhere near perfect, but it still gets the job done a lot of the time, if not most of the time. So very, very proud of this stuff so far. So that is the chess piece. Keep Reckless, man. Reckless is still so worth having. So ideally, I get Savage on these gloves. I don't know why. Still haven't gotten Savage gloves yet, but... I do have the SMG damage, crit hit damage, crit hit chance. I would like to have the uh, pulse critical hit damage, but it's not it's not rolled on these bad boys, and I cannot roll them again. Everything that I have has already been rolled to, uh, to it's, it's, I don't know, as close to perfect as possible, I would say, with what's given to me. So not perfect gloves, but that's what I'm rocking with right now. Um, if you want to move over to backpack, I have the Sentry's Call backpack. We got crit hit damage, bleed resistance, pulse critical hit damage, and smart covering uh, increase. So not too bad. In terms of mod slots, guys, we're going to just have armor on everything. That's exactly what we're working with. Because right now, um, I do have less armor than I'd like to have. We do have a little bit less armor than we had in our previous build video but the goal here is still to hit that cap so here we go that's the backpack now looking at the mask we have crit hit chance increased kill xp ballistic shield so not too bad here and then the mod on that is going to be firearms and armor I ended up getting a lot of good pieces um, we ran the incursion handful of times on hard we did run it a handful of times on challenging legit uh we do have multiple characters within the group that i run and a lot of people want different gear sets so i was able to go ahead and kind of build out this century uh gear set pretty quick and then when i did run the incursions on hard i actually got a lot like a, a nice striker like a nice set of striker gear so i do have a full striker gear it's actually even better than my century but century like just it's, the perk itself is too powerful so i might be doing a video where i kind of do a century overview maybe um a striker overview and then a comparison of the two but getting back on topic we got the knee pads here they are firearms critical hit damage exotic damage resistance blind death resistance disoriented resistance scavenging post critical hit damage so i got the crit hit damage on that i got the post crit hit damage as well so very happy about that pretty good firearm roll so not too shabby not too shabby there um did we take a look at the gloves we did take a look at the gloves already so let's go ahead and move on to the holster the holster uh <laughs> the girlfriend actually dropped this for me and i traded her a uh striker's chest piece and i got good i mean she got good rolls on this man um we do have there you go stamina crit hit chance on this because if i had armor trust me i'd throw armor on that uh, i still need to roll a bunch of mods with armor so we got pulse uh crit hit damage and a plus one mod slot so that is essentially what we're working with that's all the gear in detail now moving over to a character what does that mean we've got crit hit chance of 49.5 percent remember the cap is 60 percent you can pulse over it i like sitting at 55 percent so we've got some tweaking to do um here and there there's a couple pieces of gear that could have had crit hit chance but they don't have it so still going after you know min maxing man we're still minimizing and maximizing your gear we'll get there when we get there but you guys want an up-to-date video so here it is Critical hit damage is at 129%. We could increase that with a crit hit damage magazine. But like I said, we'll see. I like the AUG with the higher rate of fire. I like the MP5 with a crit hit damage mag. Uh, headshot damage is 88%. Not, not bad, not bad there. And then if we're looking at our survivability, uh, remember, armor is important, guys. This is what protects you. 65% um, is the cap. I like being right at the cap. If not, like... It, it, it irks me. So having 58%, I'm very much not happy about this. That will change in the coming week. Don't worry about it. I know it's too low. For your liking, it's too low for my liking. But I can't stress enough, guys. 
Armor is important, 65%. A lot of you guys are out there like, man, Strikers, Battle Gear, and Sentry, it just chews through armor and makes, like, mitigate, like, worthless. Well, guess what? What if you, like, yeah, sure. All that stuff is chewing through 65% armor and already held super quick. Imagine if you didn't have 65% armor. So, you know, hopefully we see an increase in armor, maybe, maybe like, an increase in damage resistance um, versus other players, something like that, because right now the meta is just very heavy on, like, damage dealt and dps so this is a nice quick little overview of my gear i hope you guys um got some type of information out of it i'm still like i said nowhere near my final form still min maxing a lot i'm still waiting for the next week to roll around so that way i can start doing more incursions and um yeah man i went with four piece sentry i like the sentry i feel like it's just a quick little like splurge out of information over here i have a better striker uh set piece striker yeah sure i can hit like 500k dps but it just doesn't scale like that realistically in a in, in a pvp fight so i i'd like the sentry it scales faster this damage scales faster and the sentry just to me is kind of broken man you get three stacks and then the whole entire team can do 45 percent increased damage to that one npc or person it's it's too strong man century is very very strong i might do like a hardcore comparison between the two or maybe like a little review between them now uh quick stop into abilities um every once in a while so i know in the previous video you guys saw that i had pulse um I had the pulse with tactical scanner still use it still love it another option that you guys might want to have is uh scrambler 2 the pulse protects user from and allies from hostile pulse, pulse scans this helps when you know you think you're going up against a team that has a lot of you know they use pulse and create a chance and whatnot so that's another viable option um if you're running in a full team of four it's always good to have one guy that does scrambler one guy that does uh, tactical scanner i switch between tactical scanner and um, actually now I switch between tactical scanner and the um, shock turret. Honestly, guys, the shock turret is, is kind of overpowered sometimes because you toss this bad boy down, you, you shock someone, and then especially with a turret, a uh, sentry, uh, like a sentry build, they're just sitting there and they're, they're just shaking. And it's just easy headshots, easy stacks, easy, easy headshots, easy kill, easy life. I'm still rolling with the uh, booster shot. On my first aid so we get that increased damage um dealt increased damage resistance as well and honestly guys survive there's just no no doubt survivor link man survivor link is just way too way too good to to let up still so keep that um so if you're looking at abilities i like booster shot um survivor link is a must you could choose uh choose between shock turret or or pulse scan if i'm running in a group i go pulse with tactical scanner if i'm running solo i go zapper it helps me kind of um fight the uneven numbers if, if there's a team trying to jump me or whatnot um i've also seen if your skill power is uh, pretty good overdose works really well it's essentially it's, if your skill power is high enough you essentially get like say you're at full health which is three bars you can essentially get two more bars of health stacked over that so pop that before you go into battle works really nicely as well um, i've just been testing out some new things there's different options different ways of going about um, how you PvP in the DZ. So just giving you guys more options, but you guys now know what I like to run and other things that I like to run and just other options for you. Now, if we're going to move over to talents real quick. I, um, if I'm running the turret, right? If I'm running the turret, the shock turret, got to get the fear tactics, man. This is so good. Applying shock to any target triggers a 30% chance to apply the effects to all targets within 10 meters. Um, I have a clip in the beginning of this video that shows that working in full effect, man. It was, you, you toss this bad boy down, it shocks someone. There's, there's a 30% chance of shocking the entire team. Anyone that's within 10 meters, it's very, very good. So if you use a shock turret, this is a must have. If it procs for you, it's going to do wonders. Trust me. If I'm not using a turret, then I switch over to precision. Headshot a hostile to post them for 10 seconds works really well with this build i still am rocking on the move kill a hostile while moving to reduce incoming damage by 30 percent for 10 seconds one is none still amazing it's a little bit jammed right now um i'd say one uh one out of ten times it gets stuck on the one on a, 
Yeah, on the on like one last bullet in the mag, and then I gotta like switch weapons and switch back in order to reload. But it's still too good to let up. It's still too good to let up. So headshot at hostile had a fifty percent chance of not consuming the bullet. This kind of works really well with like you know a striker gear set, right? Because you want to sustain that damage. A sentry gear set, you want to sustain that damage. So it works really really well. I switched. Um, I was telling you guys last time I did critical save. Critical save is a good option. Use a med kit during low health to increase damage resistance by 40% for 10 seconds. Um, Battle Buddy is also good too. Revive a down agent to reduce incoming damage by 50% for 10 seconds for both players. So if you got some plebs on your team, you might want to grab this. Um, or critical save. Those two are good options as well. Like I said, I want to give you guys more options. I started testing out more things and just adding variety to this build. But I really like Combat Medic, man. Um, combat medic, it's just, it works, it reads as use a med kit near allies to heal group members and proxies within 20 meters by 40%, but I'll get down to like half a bar of health, I'll use a med pack, and I instantly just have full health, so combat medic actually works really, really well, I would suggest giving it a try, um, maybe going in somewhere against an NPC or something like that, have them get you down to really, really low health and just see how much health you get back because I'm, I'm getting, I have no skill power and I'm getting like almost three bars of full health, like instantly. So combat medic looks, works really nice for me. I don't think I'm ever going to jump off this. So if anything, I might switch this out for precision, rear tactics for precision. Yeah, man, that's about it, dudes. That's that's the skills, that's the talents, that's the guns, that's the gear, that is everything. And we are sitting at 277k DPS, 82k health, 11k skill power. And then our final build is going to look more like 300k DPS, hopefully 90 to 100k health. And then, of course, once they fix Reckless, we're going to switch in two tacticians and we're going to get that 4k increase in skill power for 15k skill power. So I'm, I'm very happy with the build and currently where it's at it does very well for me in pvp i'm able to uh in some scenarios 1v4 people which is which is just downright scary and um that's a hugely in part of just a lot of you know tweaking here and there trying to get the best parts the, the best roles but of course we are all at the mercy of our and jesus all right guys thank you so much i've got to say for all the support i remember like just like a month ago, I was making YouTube videos and we were getting like a couple hundred views. Now we're getting like 5K views of video. I, I don't, out of nowhere, the, the night streams went from 100 viewers to, to 700 viewers a night. You guys are absolutely fucking crazy. And I cannot thank you enough for allowing me to live this dream. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. If you like the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you really like the video and you're not subscribed maybe consider subscribing to the channel and if you guys have any questions please feel free to direct them to me on twitter at alfredo plays because we finally have alfredo plays uh twitter handle not the alfredo plays anymore and i do stream every single night so you can come watch the build in action ask some questions we've got a great like chat fam put together and that's it for me and my ramblings, guys. I will keep putting out these videos. Um, just let me know in the comments down below what would you like to see. You guys want to see maybe like a review for the Sentry, um, review for the Striker, Sentry versus Striker, Aug versus 204 Aug versus 204 Vector, just my opinions in general, just quick little reviews on things. Let me know in the comments. Tweet at me. Stop by on Twitch. I love you guys. And this is Alfredo Plays signing out. <laughs> Do they want to fight? Get yeah, right. oh. They got You're getting focus fired, yeah. There you go. He's down, down over here. This fucking shit. Down. Dead. 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 Oh my god, I fucked up. Oh, the save for the win!